Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. And today we are going to have an extra video because my Pat McGrath Rose Decadence, which I was complaining about in a video that you will see after this video, has arrived. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, shipping is all over the place, guys, but it doesn't really matter. It's here, that's what matters. So I picked up the Rose Decadence palette, which I was not going to pick up until I saw it swatched. Here are the shades, and I'll swatch them for you, of course. I picked up um, the lip liners in Structure, which I will show you, and Brown Nouveau. Brown Nouveau has almost like a reddish undertone to it. It's really interesting. I like it. And then I picked up the Lip Trio, the bon um, the Divinal Lip Shine Trio, the Nudes in Bellamore, Temptress, and Nude Venus. I also picked up an extra Nude Venus. I am putting together a thousand subscriber giveaway and I'm just picking up things here and there, limited edition items, uh, new releases, and putting them in a big giveaway. So when I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna be doing this giveaway that's gonna have lots of different things in it, including the new Venus. So here's the lip trio. This first one is Bella Moore. Second one is Temptress. Third one is Nude Venus. I can tell you what my favorite is already. If you spent any time watching me, you know that it's Nude Venus. <laughs> All right, so let me swatch these. Yeah, I was trying to think of what I wanted to do for, you know, my thousand subscriber, because it's that's a big deal. And I decided that the best way to do it was to have different elements. So I'm gonna have something from Pat McGrath. I'm gonna have something from uh, Natasha Denona. I'm gonna have some, you know, like from different um, designers, different brands. And those are the shades. Okay, now you're nice and nice and close in. So I'm not gonna do an elaborate look today, guys. We have all seen this six pan. I'm sure you've seen other content creators do it. And it has a lot of similarities to some of the other um, palettes that she's done. The names are Pink Champagne, Peach Dusk, Fuchsia Flame, Hedonistic Rose, Scandalous, and Golden Honey. And I'll make sure that I put a, a swatch up with the actual names of, of each one. I would say that this is not going to be a favorite of mine, but I do, there are four shades in here that I do already like very much. To be honest, I picked it up mostly for those those shades, but also because I wanted to review it for all of you. Pat McGrath is, of course, a very popular, I'm using um, Peach Dusk, which is this shade here. Pat McGrath is a, um, you know, very popular brand, and it's one of those, those brands that when she comes out with something I do like to review it for you guys before you spend your money on it. One, because you know, it's popular and I get that a lot of people will be interested, but also two, because it's an expensive brand. It's not like you're spending, you know, I mean, look, any amount of money if you, if you really don't like something is a waste, but it's not like you're, you're spending a, a minimal amount of money on these things. These are, these are higher priced palettes and lipsticks and lip liners, etc. So, um, I do try to review her new releases. I also like her products. I will say that the Supreme lipstick that is coming out, that red matte, I will not be picking that up. Um, I'm sure it's gorgeous. And if all the reviews come back that it is the most amazing thing ever, then, you know, I'll look at maybe picking it up. But I, I don't really wear matte lipsticks, first of all. Uh, I do like a good red, but for me, reds are tough because of my red hair. So I'm very, very particular about the reds that I buy. And for me, 
I think I'd have to see it either in person or on someone who has a similar skin tone. I mean, that's just me. Um, other shades like these lip shines that I picked up, you know, they're a little too pink except for the nude Venus, but that's fine because I can mix them with a brown liner like the, um, the structure or the, I keep forgetting the name of the other one. I don't know why. Brown Nouveau, and I can make them browner. That's not a problem. But that sh that lipstick, if it's a matte red, you know that's you're not gonna really you're not gonna really mix that with anything. The point of that is the shade. I mean, it's you know, it's a bright red, it's a bright red shade, which can be beautiful. I've done I, you know I have a video where I've done a a red lip look. I'm not saying it's not nice. I'm just saying for me. I just, I think it's something that I'm just not really, you know, interested in picking up. Okay, so Peach Dusk. Then let's do Scandalous, which is this shade here. It's like the orange on the outer corner. Outer, actually the outer half, I guess I would say. This is the shade that I really bought this, this palette for. I saw this. And I was like, oh, that, that I like. It's like a, it's like a warm, uh, shimmery, orangey peach. <laughs> That's a terrible description. But it's really pretty. And it's not, it's not pink, guys. I mean, I'll bring you in close to see in a second, but it's not, this is not a pink shade. I will say that when she was, teasing her announcement of what this product was going to be. I was really hoping for blush. When I saw the shades, I was like, oh, blush, it'll be, you know, and that'll be great. And then when I saw that it was an eyeshadow palette, I first was just like, yeah, I'm not interested. Let me bring you in. Um, I love, I love the two rose palettes. They're Divine Rose, Divine Rose 2. They're, they're beautiful. But I'm not a huge pink person. The reason I like those is they're not really pinky pink. Like they have a lot of shift in them. They're, you know, they've got sexter terrestrial, which is basically green and pink. Um, so I wasn't gonna pick it up. I saw the swatches and saw the scandalous and now the golden honey, which I'll put on my eye, um, and thought, okay, you know, um, actually I'll use the pink champagne first and then I'll, you know what? Yeah, I'll use the pink champagne. Um, so, you know, I, I wasn't like, oh, this is something that I absolutely have to have. Um, but I saw the swatches and thought, oh, it's really pretty. I'll pick it up. And I do think it's pretty. But I, I would say that there are ways, in my opinion, to do a rose-themed palette uh, without necessarily being pink. I mean, roses are all kinds of shades. And of course you have the green and brown parts of a rose. And, you know, she did that a little bit with her sextraterrestrial, which I did really enjoy. So I was kind of hoping that it would have more of that. Um, but I mean, I get it, you know, these, these shades are popular. Um, and it's still a beautiful palette. I'm not, you know, look, I mean, she's Pat McGrath. There's a reason she's Pat McGrath. They're beautiful. I just, I'm, I'm not a huge pink person. So, you know, for me, um, if there's more in this line, I think this is the end of that line, uh, for me. So let's go ahead and take the golden honey, put it, on the eyelid. Then I'll take the pink champagne and put that in my um, brow. Cause it's really like not all the way up, but kind of like right above here. And then I'll blend it out. It's a very pretty, pretty, pretty light pink. It's like a baby pink. Not my shade, but it is beautifully done. For what it is, it is beautifully done. No question. Um, okay, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the uh, Scandalous, which is that orangey, the shade that I like, <laughs> and put it under my eye. 
That's not true, guys. I like all the shades. They're pretty. I mean, it's, it's you know, I wouldn't have picked it up if there weren't some shades in here that I liked. Formula is very good. It's not as smooth, I think, as some of the others, um, as her, her Mothership palettes. I've mentioned that before in some of my videos, I believe, that her Mothership palettes seem to have a smoothness to them that the six pans don't always have. So I don't always pick up the six pans. Um, if I hadn't seen these two shades swatched, I probably wouldn't have picked it up, but, but I do really like those shades. Surprisingly enough though, I really like this pink champagne. Let me show you the names. This is Golden Honey. This is Scandalous. This is Hedonistic Rose. It's the most like purpley pink of them all. This is Fuchsia Flame, which I actually like. This is Peach Dusk, which again, I like. And this is P uh, Pink Champagne, which I'm surprised, but I actually, I like Pink Champagne. I'm surprised that I like it, but I do. So I'm gonna go in with the Fuchsia Flame and deepen out this outer corner here. Okay, final look without um, any liner on, which I'll put on in just a second. Not my favorite look, I will admit, but I do love the Golden Honey, the Scandalous, and strangely enough, the Pink Champagne, because I don't have anything like that shade. And I think it'll be very pretty mixed with some other things in my collection. So let me put on, um, I'm gonna put on the Pat McGrath Blitz Brown. I didn't put on a lot, I just put on a little bit because I think this look is in a way kind of delicate looking. And I think with too much liner, for me, it would be too harsh against the look. So let me bring you in closer so you can see it, then I'll put on some mascara. So that is the look with, like you can see, I just have a little bit of liner on. And I actually like it with a little bit of liner because I feel like the shades kind of meld into one another. There isn't one that like really deepens the, the color story too much. So I think you need a little bit of liner, a little bit of something, um, but I think too much might make it look kind of weird. I don't know, that's just my first take. All right, let me put on some mascara, we'll come right back. Okay, finished look with mascara on. I actually do think it's very pretty. Uh, it's a very glowy, summery kind of look. It's not, it's not the color story that I would necessarily be drawn to, but it is beautiful. And it does look like the petal of a rose. It has that sort of, you know, iridescence. And when you shift, it sort of looks like the petal. I mean, she's incredibly talented. Again, though, for me personally, this is something that I, could have done without in my collection, but I am definitely going to be using the Golden Honey, the Scandalous, and the Pink Champagne. I also like the Fuchsia Flame and the Peach Dusk. The shade I didn't use, Hedonistic Rose, it's too pinky purple for me, but you know what? I'm sure I can mix it and use it with something. Uh, that's the great thing about shadows. If they're good quality and the Pat McGraths are, you can mix them with other things. You can layer and you can create different shades. So it's not like I can't use it. It's just, it's not something I'm drawn to, which is a different thing. Uh, let me take you out a little bit and we'll do the lip gloss. And I shouldn't call them lip glosses because they're not lip glosses. They are lip shines. I should, I should get the name correct. Uh, so I think, I will use Brown Nouveau, which is the darker brown of the two shades. I got that one and Structure, as I, as I showed you on my hand. They're both brown, not a shock. And although browny shades, they, they definitely have a cool undertone. Like this one almost has a, it's almost like plum undertone, which is actually kind of pretty. I, I do like it. Um, I think if I put Nude Venus with this, you wouldn't really get to see what Nude Venus looks like because Nude Venus is actually very light. I think I would probably do it with the structure um, to get a lighter look. Um, so maybe I'll do, let's do Temptress. 
Why not? Let's try the temptress. Okay, that is a much deeper look than I thought I was gonna go. Well, now you've seen what it looks like. I think it looks pretty, but you know what? I think I'm gonna go for a lighter look. At least you can see this. That's what it looks like with Brown Nouveau and Temptress. It's a very deep, reddy, plum kind of shade. It's actually beautiful. I just don't know if I like it with this eye. Be right back. Okay, the magic of videos. So let's go in with Structure, which is the lighter brown. There we go. Reminds me a little bit more of Contour, I think, a little bit. Um, and then we will go in with Nude Venus. Okay, for me, that's, <laughs> I feel more comfortable with that. This is just me. Yeah, that's beautiful. The, it's gorgeous with this um, Structure and Nude Venus. It's very light, don't get me wrong, but it's like perfect. It's a perfect nude for me, like a nude, nude look, like nude. If I went in with the Brown Nouveau, which I will do for you guys, you'll see how it'll deepen it up. See that? And I just, I lightly, lightly went over it. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous combination. Oh, I love that. I'm gonna be wearing that a lot. All right, so let me bring you in close so you can see it. Eyes and lips. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I love, I love this lip shade. It is kind of my lips, but better. And the structure is per a perfect, cool brown for me. And the Brown Nouveau has like a reddish, purplish undertone that I think is going to really make a lot of the um, brown lipstick shades that I have, like the nude browns that are too. I have a lot of nudes that are too brown. Um, they almost look tan. And on somebody who has more pigment to their skin, they look great. On someone like me, it just makes me look more uncooked than I am. Uh, so that the Brown Nouveau is gonna be perfect with those. The other two um, lip shines are gorgeous. You saw how that one looked. That was um, Tempstress. Temp Temptress. Gorgeous shade. I mean, it's beautiful. It's just, I think it's more, it's more pigmented. So it has more like oomph to it. I probably would pair it more with like a tan neutral look on my eye, like, or maybe like a, you know, like new dip or something would be like perfect with it. That's, I mean, that's just me. It has to do with your comfort zone. I am not a person who wears like a ton of color on my face. I generally, if I do something bright on my eyes, I do something relatively nude on my lips. That's just who I am. So for me, that other lip look was just too much, but I do think that looks beautiful. Final thoughts. Love the lip shines. The formula is amazing. Love the two lip liners that I picked up. I loved her lip liners before, but I'm glad I got these new shades. The, um, the palette is beautiful. The formula is very nice. It's Pat McGrath. There are three shades in here that I love and there's two that I like, and there's one that I'm not all that fond of. Um, do I, would I say that you need it? No, if you have uh, Divine Rose, Divine Rose 2, you do not need this palette. If you didn't pick those up and you're looking for something with this color story, this is a good choice. Uh, and the formula is good, guys. It's not like it's bad. It's not quite as good as her, in my opinion, as her motherships, but it's very good. I mean, it's still Pat McGrath. So, you know, I would say it's one of those palettes that I probably won't reach for very often, but I could see me picking up, you know, some of the shades from here and, and mixing them with some other palettes that I have because I really do love the Golden Honey and the, um, and the Scandalous. And the Pink Champagne, is kind of a revelation for me. I, you know, when I saw that, I was kind of like, Meh. but it actually is really pretty. And I, I could see it as like a highlight or even like a highlight on the face. I think it's really beautiful. I'm, I really like that shade. I'm gonna have to play around with that one a little more. Okay. Uh, obviously this is an extra video. You're gonna have it in addition to the other one that's up today, but I wanted to get this done and up for you guys because I think these are still available and you can pick them up uh, at Sephora as well. So I wanted to get my thoughts out there. 
Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you in another. Don't forget to hit like. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll see you in another video really soon. Thanks. Bye.